Hi, today I'm going to show you the design process of the game board of the bazaar. I'll start with a really simple design that we tried to do. This was the mock-up. Rectangles represent places for toys. If you have one toy here, for example, it should be easily placed in any other corner. In the middle we have a row, basically merchant here, the guy who's presenting those cards. You can pick one from the middle and then you can fight with an enemy who is also picking the cards. A few sketches. I wanted the bazaar to have water and plants so that it breathes. It's not like a desert, it's an oasis. So you can see a greenery with, for example, a river on the side. At daytime and at nighttime, it's a bazaar. We got to one of the rework designs here, which emphasizes the attention to the middle part with the darker places for cards. But this design was too dark. At this point, we already had the main illustration of the bazaar. If you want to achieve the same look, it's like the streets of the bazaar. Here is one of the sketches. We polished a bit more the issue from this angle, that it's really flat. Everything's flat. We get a few iterations here. On this one, for example, we tried to create depths by having a fountain underneath the board. Basically, the issue on this sketch was that the middle part of the board was really bright. When you have this amount of light in the middle, you only can do things that are darker to see the contrast. If you wanted to make some kind of sparks or shine, you would not see it because the board is really bright. We basically recolored the board and here you can see Oh, we try to add depths on the side of the board. We have doubled those arches and the middle part is a bit more darker, so there is a way to increase the brightness for VFX, for example. So we did a polish version of the previous one and symmetry is one of the greatest tools to make the picture a bit more beautiful, a bit more attractive. At this point, we got the looks of the bazaar, but the design changed. There was a revision on the design which eliminated the middle row. Therefore, we needed to redesign the board. This is the first of the sketches. While we had an ability to redesign the board, we were thinking how could we implement skins. So there is a middle line which divides two boards. The top one could be in any other look, for example, in pirate scene, and yours could be in, a, for example, a jungle scene depends which one you like. Also, we removed the middle row and we kept the water. So after this sketch, we tried to do a quick coloring. At this stage, we are choosing between angled shapes and rounded shapes. The thing with angled shapes is that they are more aggressive and the rounded shapes much more softer. They're not as threatening. We really need a very clever combination of those. But uh, overall, this look was really busy. So what we did is to try to simplify it. We chose more rounded design, a bit more Eastern patterns. Everything is rounded, so it's not aggressive. It's not stressing you out when you're playing a game a lot. Basically, everything that is round is not uh, an interactive place. And everything where you can see those hard corners is a place where you can put your items. After playtesting sessions, we got to an issue that when you get to the enemy's board, it's like a mirror of your board. But when you are having the merchant, his board is really hard to make the same. So why don't we put two rows together and see how it turns out. Also, this design helped provide much more space for status effects, health bar and a lot of different abilities. We settled with this layout, but the surroundings here doesn't really match the direction. The main illustration and basically the previous board was much more the style and look that we loved in the bazaar. So we have to polish everything. You can see the place for an enemy portrait, his stats and the abilities and health, places for toys and basically the place for cards, even from like large distance you can see the shape where the game is going to be played. You can see that this has a lot of oranges, yellows, and also in contrast with the teal color, it makes it vibrant. I would really wish you could add some kind of a character who's going to sit here, for example. 
and eat something like looking at the bazaar but yeah it was a lot of revisions it was, it was like the hardest part of the whole project is board another thing the design changed a lot and we also always needed to provide flexibility for the design because if we change something in design we should change every other board because we finished this one uh, every other board is much easier to to make this is how board looks we had a lot of iterations we had a lot of revisions and you will see it in the game so i hope you like to see the process of creating the game board for the bazaar